What's going on, everybody? Doc from Average Gamer Guys, back yet again and into another Rocket League episode. Today, we are talking about the news that came out yesterday concerning a glimpse at Rocket Pass 4, new update, and fall roadmap 2019 info, in addition to a couple of other things like the competitive season, when it's going to end, and some additional changes, bug fixes, all that, just different kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to jump into, so a little bit of a news update uh, video for you today. We'll have a pretty cool episode coming up tomorrow uh, of some pretty neat designs. So if you're a fan of community designs, make sure to stay tuned and uh, and be sure to check out tomorrow. With the addition of that, make sure we've had a couple of uh, really cool uh, videos go up the past couple of days. If you missed the announcement on Monday, uh, we do have a new partnership, Rocket League Trading Lounge. It's a Facebook trading group. Uh, we're partnered with them right now, and there's a big giveaway that we've sponsored uh, to do on their Facebook group uh, as part of our partnership. So you can go check that video out. I'll link the description down below. Probably flash the name. All you got to do is go on Facebook, check it out, search uh, Rocket League Trading Lounge. It'll come up. It is a closed group. You'll have to join it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And then under the discussions tab, uh, the announcement giveaway is like right up there at the top. So you can go ahead, take a look at that. A couple of ways to enter. One, just being subbed to the channel. So shameless plug for us. Make sure if you're new, sub to the channel. Uh, we have other links in the description below for our Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, all that good stuff. Um, and our Discord group. Obviously, you're on YouTube, but our Discord group as well. So make sure to join us over there. But then, again, hop over to Rocket League Trading Lounge. Uh, cool place. Really, really chill place. Find some good trades. Get into the trading scene a little bit if you're on the Xbox platform. And again, enter our really, really sick giveaway. We got 16 total prizes. A lot of really cool stuff going on. So make sure to check them out and uh, join that community over there as they grow and we grow with them. So, with all that being said, we're going to have some gameplay in the background. We're just going to just chat a little bit today about uh, the news that came out, the fall 2019 roadmap, and what everything is coming with it. So, if you're not familiar, we just rolled over into the new, uh, the last portion of this special event, which is the television series. We got the Knight Rider car pack, which is really, really cool. That is a DLC premium car that we got coming on. So, we're in the last stretch. We've got three weeks of Radical Summer left. We then have one week, one additional week. Uh, after this three weeks of a redemption period. So there'll be one final chance. They did discuss that you're going to be able to pick up everything from the previous sessions. So if you started a little late, maybe missed something, do your grinding now over the next couple of weeks. Grind it out. Get as many cassettes as you can. That way you can redeem them uh, during that period and hopefully pick up anything that you missed. So that's really cool. In addition to that, we get some additional details as far as Rocket Pass 3, Rocket Pass 4, and then just kind of the roadmap, the way ahead, which is I, I really do enjoy these posts, and they seem like they're coming at a pretty good time. I feel like we're getting them at a good good pace, good clip, uh, which is good. So let's talk about Rocket Pass 3. They're actually going to extend Rocket Pass 3. They have basically talked about that the feedback from the second Rocket Pass that people really didn't like the huge break in between Rocket Pass. It was almost a month, I think, this last time, uh, and that's essentially what it was shaping up to be um, for this next time. They've decided they're actually going to extend this literally up until the day before the next Rocket Pass, Rocket Pass 4 releases, which is really, really cool. So Rocket Pass 3 is going to be live until August 27th. There's going to be no additional weekly challenges these next couple of weeks because they didn't plan for them. Um, so you'll just be able to earn experience like normal and you know be able to level up that way as well as Radical Summer be able to use any additional cassettes you can go ahead and pick up uh, your your um, full XP levels from that so we've got some cool stuff going on but all the way up until August 27th you have to grind out Rock Pass 3 so if you joined into that a little bit late or you've really been hoping to try to get something and haven't pulled it yet you got a couple more weeks to grind that out and pick some of that stuff up again no weekly challenges but plenty of additional time Rocket Pass 4 then is going to kick off right on August 28th. So literally the next day, they're going to kick it off. It's got a new battle card. They gave us a little bit of a hint about these being rugged items. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Only time will tell. But again, we're going to have a new featured battle card. They haven't really showed us or talked about anything else. 
They did say that they're going to do a slight change to the weekly challenge system. This I really like is that they're actually the weekly challenges are going to stay active throughout the duration of Rocket Pass 4. So essentially whatever how many ever weeks we get 14, 15, 16, whatever it ends up being, we are going to get all of those weekly challenges. None of them will be they'll open up each week, they'll reset just like they normally do, but if you happen to miss one or not complete one in one week, you don't have to worry about it. You can continue to work towards it the following week, the week after, and all the way down the line until excuse me, until the rocket pass is over. This is a really good move. I like this. Uh, this kind of rewards um, or doesn't punish you if you end up going away on a trip or you know people are going to be starting school you know, uh, September time frame. You're going to be busy. So if you end up missing a couple of challenges or can't complete them, don't worry. You have plenty of time now through the next rocket pass to get it done. I think that was a really smart move. I'm sure we'll see some other tweaks to the challenges as we get into and get closer to Rocket Pass 4. In addition, again, they haven't really um, talked about any of the items. They said there is a sneak peek of the featured battle car in the Radical Summer trailer. I think I've seen a picture of it, um, but if you want to check it out, go check out the Radical Summer trailer, kind of piece through it and see if you can pick it up. Um, but I'm excited. I'm always excited for a new Rocket Pass. Uh, and I'm glad that they listened to the community feedback on Rocket Pass 3 so that there's not that long break. This is going to be keep people engaged and then hopefully get them excited as we get closer to August 28th. So in addition to that, it seems like this is the trend that they're going with, but we're going to line up competitive seasons with our Rocket Passes essentially. So competitive season 11, which is the one we're in now, is actually going to end on August 27th as well. So the day before the next Rocket Pass, the day that Rocket Pass 3 ends is going to be the end of competitive season 11 and then subsequently competitive season 12 will begin actually the same day so we'll get the title update we'll essentially get the update the day before and then everything will go live uh, and so that's gonna happen on the 27th they'll publish a time for it we don't have the time yet but they'll publish the time for it. I imagine it'll be sometime probably in the morning like they normally do and uh, and then it'll change over they'll probably have a little hiatus hour two hours or whatever it is for them to change over get the new season stats up I am sure we will see uh, uh, they they have actually talked about um, that you're gonna have to or they haven't talked about it but I'm assuming that you'll have to do uh, probably a reset then you can jump into competitive season 12 we have not heard anything or seen anything about the rewards they usually give those about a week maybe two weeks beforehand uh, so we should be seeing them sometime middle of August time frame. Uh, they did talk about there's going to be unique rewards from bronze all the way up to grand champ. And then the extra mode grand champ titles are coming back as they have for previous seasons as well. So if you've got a goal or you're trying to grind, again, you get an additional time to grind Rocket Pass 3. Now you know the end date, August 27th for competitive season 11. Um, so really good stuff. One final piece of... Uh, kind of upcoming very near future upcoming updates is that uh, they're gonna do some audio changes basically it's um, they're making some additional changes specific to the high din high dynamic range audio um, when the update when the title update rolls out on August 27th I won't uh, dive too much into that they're gonna talk about it here in the next couple of weeks as they get ready to talk about the update so just stay tuned for that, but know that's on the, that, that is coming with this title update. And then in addition to that, they talked about kind of the roadmap moving forward. So they said on the horizon, new stats. There's going to be two new stats <laughs> that they're adding to all game modes. They call it high five and low five. You pull a high five off by hitting your teammate in midair after scoring. Low five is the same thing, but you do it on the field. Hoops is getting a new stat called swish, which as you can imagine, if you play hoops at all, Swish is achieved by scoring without the ball touching the rim. These are interesting. I don't know how necessary they are. Swish is kind of neat uh, because I feel like that's, a, you know, that's, I think, kind of cool specific to that game mode. The high and low five, it is what it is, but it's a new stat. We get something new. Can't argue with the content, and uh, and we'll just see how it plays out. It'll, it'll be something kind of cool after scoring a goal. Then you got a little extra challenge that you can play with. They did talk about that they're planning in the initial planning stages of the third installment of Haunted Hollows, which is going to be coming in the fall. They said that they know that Radical Summer is a tough act to follow, but they've 
they've cooked up some pretty wicked stuff. So I'm super excited for this. Um, I'm always excited for the events, and I like that they're going to kind of keep events going. I don't expect it to be as big as Radical Summer, but even if it's six weeks, maybe less, maybe even, well, six weeks seems like a pretty good time frame to do through the fall. If it's not just related just to Halloween, if it's kind of related to the fall, um, I think that'll be pretty cool. I've always been a fan of Haunted Hollows event, and uh, I'm excited f to see what we got coming up here. They did talk about uh, one of the goals of 2019 is to revamp Rocket League's tournament system. So th they basically called it Tournaments 2.0. They said this is going to include having automated scheduled tournaments in-game that players can join. And they said look out for revamped tournaments system later this year. So this is roadmap. This is looking forward. It's going to take some time. Expectation is we'll get it before the end of the year. And then in addition to that, they said regarding the last roadmap, they said the content that was discussed in Maze, which we covered, which included the party up system, inventory management, and quality of life improvements to the player to player trading system, they're still in development. They still have plans to roll these, uh, the functionality and the updates for that later into 2019. So the way I see it is there's a good chance that as we get closer to the end of 2019, we're obviously going to have, again, the new Haunted Hollows event. It also seems like we're going to get a really big title update sometime near the end of the year. It's going to include, again, new and improved tournaments, as well as party system, inventory management, player to player trading, all that kind of stuff. I'm super I'm super down for that. Take the time. I'm totally comfortable with this. Take the time and make sure that it's done right. One thing, and I probably should have read this beforehand, is that um, competitive season 12 uh, is going to begin on August. No, I'm sorry. See, I, I read the update and then I didn't read the update. Competitive season 12, again, will begin on August 27th following the title update. Just want to make sure they had made a previous error on the post. So um, really cool news. Really, really cool news. I'll keep this one kind of short for you guys. That is the news from this fall's 2019 roadmap. Some really cool things to look forward to. And again, I know players like, like myself always want to know when competitive seasons are going to end, when rocket passes are going to end, and when the next one's going to begin. August 27th and August 28th are your two dates. Get out there grind it out, enjoy the last part of Radical Summer, enjoy the last parts of Rocket Pass 3, pick up whatever you can, and grind out whatever you need to in that competitive rank, get those rewards, and uh, we should be seeing, again, probably here in a couple weeks, seeing a little bit more information on the rewards, uh, as well as anything else coming with the title update. I'm sure there'll be some bug fixes and some other things, quality of life type stuff, uh, that they'll be working on. So that's what we've got for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully the gameplay wasn't too boring in the background. And uh, just hopefully you guys enjoy these news updates. Like I said, stay tuned to the channel over the next couple of days, next couple of weeks. Got some really cool stuff coming up. And then again, like I mentioned at the beginning, make sure to get in that giveaway. Make sure to go check out uh, the Facebook group, uh, Rocket League Trading Lounge, new group growing really chill place, go find some trades, meet some cool people, link up for some tournaments, link up for some people, uh, with some people to play some games, uh, just a really cool community, we're going to help them grow as they help us grow, and just a good partnership we got going on, so as always, Dr. Remember Gamer guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one, peace.